Hi everybody, it's Anthony Fletcher. Thanks for coming to my channel, A Lender's Point of View. Today, before we get started, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for subscribing to your channel and thank you for likes and also your comments. I've been reading all the comments and I've got so many more videos because of that coming your way, just starting in a few, in about five or six days from now. So thank you again. Keep them coming and let me know what you want to see. Okay, today we have a special guest, and before we get going, we're going to be talking about budgets today. So over the course of my 25 years in lending and banking, I thought, gosh, who was the most important person that I could possibly have with me that might be to help to describe this? So da -da -da -da, I have somebody for you to meet, my wife, Gay. Hi. Nice to meet everyone. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about budgets and what we've done over the course of our lives. We've had some good times as far as our budgets, and basically we've been together for about 30 years, 33 years we've been married. And so I thought it'd be good, you know, to explore with her as far as and with you kind of the things that we did that were good and also some things that weren't right. And so, um, I thought it'd be really good for us to kind of go over this with you and give you some background information, especially the type of budgets. Okay, so my brother-in-law, right? Yes. Bill, um, he kind of uh, told us about what they call an envelope system when we were in our 20s and we just got married because we were trying to figure out budgets and both of us weren't making much money. You were working for? Boeing. And bringing home about, oh, about $1,200 a month and i was bringing with a company called washington mutual a bank that went out of business uh about 20 no about uh, 1400 a month so we only brought home about 2600 dollars a month so we went through what they call this thing is called the envelope system and we'll show you what they are this is basically how we did it our first year Basically, it is just literally putting money in from your from our payroll, from our paychecks into these envelopes. So, so we had utilities and credit cards. At that time, we did have a car payment. We had gas and phone bills. That was landlines. That was the days before cell phones. We had rent because we were in an apartment, entertainment, and then the all important food. So this is kind of basically how you should run um, your, you know, as far as your monthly payments, as far as bills. You know, when you get a payroll, you should have your emergency fund, your savings fund, um, then rent. We would write a check and put it in there and send it off. Our utilities every month, we would send that off. Mm -hmm. Credit cards, we would send that off. Uh, phone gas, we'd send that off. And sometimes with the gas, we would just have an envelope. So we would say, okay, we each get ten dollars a week for gas okay and both of us didn't drive very far so and then for food we would use that and we would put money in there and when the money was gone we bought no more food so we were you know that's what we were supposed to do internet was we, did we, we have internet we didn't you know it didn't exist back no then. internet back then <laughs> so we didn't have that charge to begin with but later on is that entertainment. entertainment what did we do for entertainment we, so at that time we were living in the Everett area. And so we would. It's by meet, Seattle. Yeah. We would meet our friends down in Seattle. And, and go out drinking. Go out to dinner, go out to drinks, go to movies. Go to concerts. Go to concerts, go to comedy clubs. So we were spending money. So we weren't saving. Oh, by the way, that's the two things you didn't see in these envelopes was nothing for savings whatsoever. Right. So right. we were just spending everything we had. So this is what it looked like. And uh, we had, so we had our take home each month was $2,600 a month. And then uh, housing, we lived in a what, two bedroom? Two bedroom, two bedroom apartment. Brand new, really yeah, nice. Really nice. Had a, had a racquetball court. Um, <laughs> and a tanning bed. <laughs> yeah, $900 a month. Uh, utilities, 150. We had a really nice car. We bought a you know really nice, uh, uh, Nissan Pathfinder. Yeah, that was two seventy five a month. Uh, gas for the vehicles, two cars, about one twenty five. Food, we were spending about four hundred a month for food, right? Just right. for taking home and whatever. A lot of it we wasted. You know, we bought stuff and then we we'd go moldy in the refrigerator. Um, credit cards, 
we started using our credit cards, didn't we? How we much did. did we put together? Like five, six thousand bucks or something like that. Probably. We we were spending too much on credit cards for sure. Yeah, wasn't good. So, um, and we could feel it, couldn't we? Yeah. We could feel it kind of like eating at us. Like, because you know that credit card bill's coming, and and it it's hard just to have to pay the minimum balance or minimum each month yeah. or try to get ahead of that, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. And then our friends would call and they'd say, hey, let's go out to dinner. And we'd say, okay. Yeah. Um, okay entertainment, $300 a month. So we were going 75 bucks a month. Now, back then going to a concert was like 50 bucks or something like that. Not like 250 right. now. Um, phone cable system, 175 because you had a regular phone back then, the kind you just pick up. If you're <laughs> under 30, you probably don't know what we're talking about. Had a cord about. attached to it. Yeah. No no, no cell phone. Uh, cable was like your normal cable TV and internet, maybe 50 bucks if it was there. Yeah, we didn't have it. And like I said, savings basically didn't happen. And emergency fund wasn't there at all. Right. Okay. So we got an opportunity to get a different job, move down to Portland area. And both of us kind of start working at different jobs. And as a result, we thought we'd get a chance to buy a house. And we needed about, and we knew this was going to happen in about a year because I was on a one year type of thing with this job. And so we decided to make some radical changes. Okay. So first of all was the job change. We were bringing, an ex, bringing home an extra $600 a month. And if you're in a job and you feel like you can't bring home money, you can always get a second job. Um, I know people that mow lawns for golf courses on the weekends and things like that, or even push, you know, sand traps, work at the sand traps or whatever at the golf course and clean those, uh, work at Home Depot, whatever you can to get extra money. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we went from a, remember that apartment? It was nice. It was a brand new apartment. Uh, five hundred and seventy dollars a month versus eight ninety five, but it was only one bedroom. I don't remember the square footage, but it was yeah, small. Yeah, small. But it was all right for the two of us. Yeah, it was okay. Uh, utilities, uh, one thirty. Uh, so they dropped because we went to a smaller place. Mm -hmm. Our car, we got rid of the car and we got bought a used one. We had a little Mazda. Was it Mazda or Nissan? truck that was a little white truck Tread, bounced about. around everywhere we went <laughs> no shocks. right okay and um then we had uh what was it okay here's the big change here so our savings went all the way to twelve hundred dollars a month because we knew we wanted to be in the house in a year and we needed to get some money in there so that's the big radical change Food, we dropped our food. We went to more macaroni and cheese. Another big change is credit cards. We kind of got those under control, paid those things down, and then we were just about $100 a month. And we basically, I think we basically, what did we do? We basically cut the cards up, didn't we? We did. We cut yeah. We cut all but one up, I think. All but one up and barely used it. So right. everywhere we went was cash. So we, everywhere we went somewhere, and and that's really easy to do because when we would go to, it's hard because you go to like the parade of homes or whatever and you see everything, all these nice homes. Yep. And then you see what everybody has and you want to get it. And you just, you know, you feel like you should. And then you want to be known for your hard work. So you go out to nice foods and you just have to realize you just can't do it. Right. Um, okay. So food went down to 360. Credit cards went down there. Entertainment dropped a lot. And why did it drop? Because we opted for Hollywood video and Blockbuster for our entertainment primarily. Friday and Saturday nights. Woohoo! <laughs> so, so that's about what we did there. And we had parties at home. Yeah. We'd have our friends come over and we'd have game night, you know, chips and salsa kind of thing. Everybody brings something. And so we just save money. Um, and then as far as phone cable, that stayed same about the thing. same. Gas, as you can see, we just moved it down to here. And then we started an emergency fund for 300 bucks a month. So that was really kind of important too, because we knew down the road if we had issues, we didn't want to have to dig into this money if we had problems. So we did that. 
Okay, so a year goes by and we are now able to live in our new house, buy a new house, okay? How old was a new house? It was built in 72 70, or 76. 70 something, 70 something. It was 1,100 square feet. Dark woods. Had wood I, paneling on the wood walls. Wood paneling, the whole thing. It was ugly. But Brady Bunch color carpet. Yeah. And we were looking about buying a house that was really nice that was built in the 80s, but we felt like we couldn't afford the extra $50,000. We didn't want to put ourselves in that hole. So, because we've gotten used to this savings thing. That's the thing about it. Once you get used to savings and you start realizing that you spend the, you put money away and you've got money, you don't want to give it money away to anybody else. That you don't have to because everybody's out for a part of your dollar you know when i worked for uh, wells fargo bank they wanted they basically had wanted seven different products with you each and every month and they wanted seven products with you so that they were tied to you they wanted you to have a mortgage and credit cards and credit lines and auto loans and all this stuff where you're paying them every single month okay so we bought a house it costs us about $80,000. We've got a 9% interest rate. So right now rates are about six, six and a half. It was 9%. Yeah. But so we bought a smaller house. Our uh, utilities went up to 50. Our car loan still at 140. Um, big difference here is we dropped our savings down from about 30, 40% down to um, 10%. But we were still saving. So that was good. Each that was that became our number one thing as we talk about over here with the envelope system, the emergency fund and the savings funds should be number one and two. And that's what we started doing. We made sure we had shelter overhead, but then we paid we made sure we paid ourselves. Okay. Um next uh food, food stayed about the same. Credit cards stayed about the same because we weren't using those very much. Entertainment. Still, Still blockbuster. Block <laughs> we had a dog, by the way, and so um, a lot of walks with the dogs. Phone cable system, um, one seventy five. I think we may internet. have had internet by then. Yeah, we'll dial up. <laughs> and then say, like I said, uh, gas still stayed at one twenty five. Our emergency still stayed at three hundred because we knew that we were going to need something for down the road. If something happened, so our savings basically went into our retirement account at this point. So we are putting money into our retirement account and mm -hmm. buying stock and investments here. And then our emergency fund was in cash. Okay. Right. And then finally, because we had a new home, we created a home maintenance account. And basically, rather than have envelopes for each one of these accounts, we had our main checking account. And then we had three, four different savings accounts. Right. One for house maintenance, one for emergency fund, one for savings. Kind of like that and we just sent money had an automatic payment key Those thing envelopes basically the weird thing about it is we went from a credit score when we were over here from like a 700 7 680 700 by the time we got over here we were like 740 mm -hmm. and it was because we made these conscious decisions not to spend money to everybody that wanted us to spend money too. So overall, what do you think? Did it work out good? I think it did. We yeah. got our first house. And it was hard. It wasn't year. easy. It, was no. a, it was hard, wasn't it? It was. It was. But we stuck to it and it worked out. Spent a lot of time at um, Goodwill buying stuff instead of buying nice stuff, didn't we? Yeah, but yeah. you can still find good things at Goodwill. Yeah. So uh, Facebook Marketplace, you know, use that. Don't be afraid to buy secondhand stuff if you're trying to get there. That's the first thing. Don't give, you know, grocery, don't give the main stores things that you can buy secondhand, okay? Um, well, that kind of does it for today. And the thing that about it most of all is by doing these budgets, you create knowledge for yourself, mm -hmm. okay? And that's huge because when you have knowledge, you get out of this thing, the, this thing called despair. And despair is basically you're having issues trying to make decisions because you don't have the knowledge. 
And once you get out of that, it creates that confidence that you have in yourself. And then finally, it creates trust for yourself and your partner. If you have of the decisions that you're making are good decisions of where you're going. So budgets are really good. Most of my clients don't have a budget, but the ones that do really seem to know what they're doing. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Gay, for showing up. You're Appreciate very welcome, it. Dear. Okay. Just want to say thanks everybody for coming to my channel. We will see you tomorrow. We're, we're going to go and actually look at live, uh, particular live actual houses and break them down on what the payments are going to be like. Okay. Thanks again. Bye now.